Hello everybody, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal, and today I want to show you something really interesting. Um, I'm going to get into more detail about this maneuver later, but I just want to, uh, in the sake of time for the patient, we're going to uh, do a little uh, talk about how to identify a cervical nerve root compression and how to identify what level it's at. So several years ago I did a research study, something I had developed, it's called the Marquis Maneuver where uh, unlike the Sperling's test where you can do the test, compress one side, it doesn't really tell us what level it's at and it can give us some radiculopathy. The cervical spine compression test can also give us radiculopathy, but it doesn't tell us what level it's at. So I wanted to get a little more specific with this. So what we're going to do today is demonstrate a C7 nerve root compression using the Marquis Maneuver. The downfall to this test is that it takes two people to do it, um, and we're not going to do all the other levels because we, we have identified the um, C7 nerve root. So Paul here is 49 years old, about two months ago started to develop pain in the tricep region, some axillary discomfort, um, paresthesias into the C6, C7 uh, dermatome, and uh, a lot of discomfort at night trying to get comfortable. Uh, he's on gabapentin now, which is helping to decrease his discomfort. He's had an MRI, which also confirms this. Um, but uh, I want to just demonstrate to you how we can identify the level a little bit better. So what we're going to do is we're going to test his, uh, his triceps. And we're going to put him at 90 degrees. And he is going to do his absolute best to hold his arm there. And Sharon is going to work on, uh, you know, testing his manual muscle we'll test there. The Okay, so she's able to break him a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take his head and neck and I'm going to simply traction him at about 15 degrees of flexion and 15 degrees of lateral flexion to the opposite side. Now he has a really thick neck so I'm going to hold him under his chin really lightly and I want you to relax. And I'm going to pull about 20 to 25 pounds of pressure. And I usually ask them at this point, do you have any, does it feel better? Yeah. Yeah, it does relieve his discomfort. I hold that for about 10 to 15 seconds, sometimes a little bit longer, and then we retest that muscle group. Okay, so go ahead and hold, give everything you've got. Okay, hold right there, don't let me bend it. And rest. Now, do you notice the difference? Yep. And what is the difference? I she can't bend it as far. Okay, so you're feeling stronger. Yeah, feeling stronger. I never tell the patient ahead of time what they should feel. Um, but when I ask them, they usually say it feels stronger. So if his wrist extensors did not get stronger, I don't need to worry about C6. If his biceps did not get stronger uh, or change, um, then um, I can identify what level it's at. So he presents with a C7 nerve root. And so, um, and the other thing we've identified with this test is that if he has to have surgery for this to decompress the C7 nerve root, he's going to have a really good outcome because we are decompressing it right now and if they do it surgically, it should last a lot longer. So that is the marquee maneuver and if you have any questions, please let me know. Send me some messages and we'll talk about this in more detail. I'm going to be doing a podcast about this uh, also. So just go to orthoevalpal.com and you'll uh, get some good information about this. Thanks.